check me out. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very cool tweak on Cydia known as TouchPal. Now what it allows you to do is use the swipe feature on your iDevice. Now those of you that are familiar with Android devices are probably familiar with the swipe keyboard that can be used on those. So me personally having used swipe in the past on my Android device, I'm excited about this tweak because this is one feature that I did miss from the Android platform. But to better demonstrate what I'm saying, I'm just going to compose a very quick message by saying, hello, how are you doing today? And that is pretty much what TouchPal allows you to do. It allows you to swipe over the keys on your keyboard to compose a word. You'll also notice that with this particular keyboard, you then have the autocorrect bar versus it putting a word to try to correct what you're saying like the Apple default keyboard does. Now with the TouchPal keyboard, you do have other keyboards built in within here as well that you can access by simply swiping to the left or to the right. But the keyboard that I prefer and that I use is the TouchPal keyboard with the swipe feature. I don't really use the other ones, but some of you may find it useful. Now to get this on your device, you will need to download TouchPal keyboard from the App Store. It is free, so there are no troubles there or any worries about that. It also gives you, of course, the description of what the application does. Now on top of that, you're also going to need to download TouchPal with Insidia. Now, if you notice here, I typed in TouchPal and it's not pulling up anything. And that's because there are some Chinese characters in front of the title. So after you type it in, you will have to hit search. And then once your results have pulled up, you're going to select this one from Big Boss. And you're going to download that onto your device as well. From there, what you're going to hop into is settings. And once you're in settings, you're going to select general. Then you're going to go down to keyboard select keyboards and then you're going to add a new keyboard and what you're going to add is the touchpal english keyboard and that will then allow you to access the touchpal keyboard within whatever application you're in so i'm gonna just hop back into notes to show you how you can pull that up so then when you're in an application and you want to pull up the touchpal keyboard you can hit this globe down here and alternate between your keyboards and i personally like that because then you can easily switch between the default Apple keyboard, your emojis, or the TouchPal keyboard. Something you're going to want to remember though is that if you want to use the swipe feature, this A down here does have to be illuminated because then it'll allow you to swipe. However, if that A is not illuminated and it's white like that, then it just allows you to use it as a regular keyboard you then cannot swipe. But that pretty much sums everything up. I hope you enjoyed this tweak and found it useful. If you did, or even if you did not, drop your comments down below in the description box. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you wanna just be awesome and show your support. Also, don't forget to subscribe. You can feel free to hit me up on my social sites. The links can be found down below in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.